set up our um, synthetic division again. We're going to just start with a small example. We've got x squared minus 2x minus 15, and we're going to divide that by our x plus 3. Now, the first thing you want to do is kind of make this cool looking thing. It's kind of like an upside down division box. Um, what we want to do is we want to look at the coefficients of each one of these. Our first coefficient of the x squared here, you can't see it, but it's understood to be a 1. This is going to be a negative 2, and this is going to be a negative 15. And we're just going to leave this blank for a second, and I just want to point out some things real quick. Remember when we were talking about division that you have to have a placeholder? This has the x squared, the x, and the constant. You don't have to have a zero in here because you don't need a placeholder. But if you don't have every single spot, then you are going to need to put in a zero for a placeholder. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do um, the synthetic division. So we're going to take this x plus 3, but instead of writing x plus 3 out here, we're going to put negative 3. Because if I were to set x plus 3 equal to 0 and solve it, x would equal negative 3. That's the answer. That's the 0 that I want to look at here. Whenever you're doing synthetic division, you're always going to take your first thing and take it straight down. So this is going to be a 1 right here. And now we're just going to multiply and go through. What is negative 3 times 1? It's negative 3. I'm going to place that negative 3 here. I'm going to add and bring them straight down. Uh, negative 2, negative 3 is? That's right, negative 5. What is negative 3 times negative 5? It's positive 15. I'm going to put that positive 15 right here. I'm going to add those straight up. I'm going to get a 0. Dude, I got a remainder of 0. That means, yes, this baby does go in. And the cool part is this down here actually stands for the x, and this is going to be your constant. So your other factor would be x minus 5. Sweet, huh?